Hello, my YouTube family. Very true. Very true. My plan is all fouled up now. Yeah, you didn't see me yesterday because Nancy was on empty. Um, Monday, I realized, and this I, re I realized all of this yesterday. I realized that Monday, well, I told y'all I wasn't feeling all that fantastic. <clears throat> Not because I was coming down with a cold or anything, although a co-worker of mine said today that I sound kind of funny. I don't think I do, but you'll let me know. Um, yesterday morning, I woke up, you know, just determined to go to work, got up, fed Tom, water, food, everything. I was running on MT. When I tell you, you know when your phone is dead and you definitely need to recharge? It's not on just one bar. One bar was Monday. <laughs> one bar was Monday. Yesterday, no bars in this body of mine. So... I got to the bathroom, getting ready to take a shower, brush your teeth, do everything. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I held on to the towel bar. Not because I felt faint or anything, but I, I was drained. So devil angel, devil is like, you can make it. Go ahead, push yourself. Angel is like, you need a rest. I advise you to take it. And I was feeling lightheaded. I was feeling all, all sorts of ways. So I said, you know what? I haven't taken a day off since I can't remember when. I'm taking this day off. Fouled up my plans for, you know, this Friday, Batman vs. Superman coming out. I was going to take a day off next week. I couldn't. My body said next week, nothing. If you want to get to next week, you better take a rest. So, yeah. <clears throat> so this whole I'm going to see Batman versus Superman in the middle of the week where everybody is going to work and I can still go to a movie no that plan is all effed up but when I tell you I called my supervisor and I told her that I'm not coming in and I told her to tell everybody else that I'm not coming in I will see everybody on Wednesday which was today um, she said, okay, and uh, I went back to sleep for another two and a half hours. What? Yeah. I woke up at like 9.30, quarter to 10, somewhere around here. I needed the rest. And my beautiful baby, Tom, who's sitting at the windowsill, he, cats know when humans are sick. I don't know. Dogs know. Cats, are, it's an animal thing. He stayed on the bed with me. When I was getting, oh, I was sliding in to go back to sleep, he hopped on the bed. He circled, circled, circled around and just sat like right next to me. He didn't sit. He was like lying down. But it was kind of like in a posture like, don't worry, mom. I'm going to look over you and I'm just, you know, I'll keep, I'll keep watch. And when I woke up, he was sitting right there. Like he never moved. And I was so grateful because I really needed him right then. <laughs> I really did. You know when you just need your animal? You need your animal. You need your pet. And, uh, yeah. So that explains yesterday. And, yeah, it looks like I'll be watching Batman vs. Superman on a weekend when I can get the seat that I want, whenever that'll be. I wish I had just waited one more week. But if I had waited one more week and felt the way I felt yesterday, I wasn't going to go to the movies anyway. Anyway, that explains yesterday. This lip look right here. Okay, let's start off with the lip liner, which, by the way, I will be using all week long because... This lip liner will go with everything. It, I told you it, it goes with all my nudes. My Chanel Aqua Crayon Lip Color Stick in chocolate. I don't know what the hell is going on next door, but if you hear that, that's next door. Good weather, now that we have good weather, brings out the crazies. I don't know if you can hear that. 
But yeah, this is my lip liner. Aqua Crayon Lip Color Stick in Chocolate. There we go. And the lip gloss I am wearing today. And it is so nude-ish that um, it looks like I'm not wearing anything. But you could tell. I don't know what's going on with my, my... If the video all of a sudden doesn't go with my lips, it's because something is going on. And I don't know what it is. So hopefully everything will continue to go the way it should be. This is my NYX Butter Lip Gloss in Madeline. And this lip gloss smells like butterscotch. It smells so good. Oh, heavenly sweet Jesus. Loving this lip gloss. The only, I guess, downside is that you have to reapply. You do kind of have to reapply a bit. So, because it does kind of just fade away. And you know how I like my lips shiny. But this is a nude, honey. I am in the nude mood. And when I tell you that idle hands are the devil's workshop, well... Um, since I didn't go to work yesterday and when I woke up I was catching up on videos and stuff and my mouse you know the mouse for the computer kind of found its way I don't know how it did it but it kind of found its way to <clears throat> um it found its way to the Ulta site um where um miraculously I uh placed an order but I wasn't done with the Ulta site um see what had happened was uh after the Ulta site the mouse found its way to um, the All Cosmetics site because uh, there was like sales. So um, I, I placed an order there. But um, <clears throat> you see, uh, after that, I... I, I, you know, that mouse, <laughs> oh, that mouse, uh, it found its way back to, um, Amazon site, uh, where there just happened to be a few things sitting in the cart, and the mouse done clicked itself on checkout. And I, I don't know uh, what happened. So there's going to be a major haulage coming. And um, I wasn't supposed to order a damn thing until my birthday, which is four months away. But... On the upside, there is an upside to this. Monday, I went to the bank to put in money in my savings. Okay. So, um, I don't <clears throat> feel so bad that I placed orders because it's not like I took money out of my savings to go and go willy-nilly, you know? I, I, uh... You know, because, you know, when you're sick, you need to uh, find something to do. And I could have watched television, which I wound up doing anyway, but I was at the computer. You know, is the bed, is the computer. So, you know, you just come from one, sit in the other. And uh, 
So that's what happened. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Okay. I don't. I mean, mm -mm. Oh, I forgot to do a swatch. So don't nobody be mad at me. There is the swatch for Madeline. It is a gorgeous. It's one of those favorite nudes of mine. It's not a concealer nude. Yeah, I'm steering clear of those. And by the way, uh, the Ulta order will have more nudes coming. <clears throat> so, just to let you know. So there is Madeline. Look at that shade, people. That is a gorgeous shade. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Gorgeous. So that's that with that upon that. I'm going to wipe it off now. Me lovey, me lovey, this lip gloss. Me lovey, this lip gloss. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Obviously, I didn't miss anything. Nothing was happening at work. It was just another work day. But I needed that 24 hours. I needed that 24 hours. My body needed the 24 hours. And I'm feeling fine now. I'm good to go. Like, let me just finish off this week and I'm done. So three down, two more to go. Here we go. You have to listen to your body, people. You really do. It will let you know when it has done its time, when it says you need to stop now before I make you stop. And, you know, if your body makes you stop, that means something has gone terribly wrong. So you just need to listen to when it says, alarm, alarm, warning, 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 Will Robinson, warning. Yeah. So, yeah, my body said Will Robinson, and I was like, I understand what you're saying. So that took care of that. And, uh, yeah. That's that. With that upon that, did anybody see, um, well, I'm watching The Flash, and The Flash is getting good, and next week The Flash is going to cross over with Supergirl, and I watch both of them, but enough of that. Um, did anybody see The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? They up in Dubai, and apparently next week is when Ish is going to hit the fan, because... You know, confrontation after confrontation after confrontation. That's just what they do. That is just what they do. Lisa Rinna needs to shut up. I'm done with her. I'm done with her. She was one of my favorites at one point. No, I'm done with her now. I like Erica. I like her a lot. Because she is not a BS artist. She will tell you in a heartbeat. Because she's got nothing to hide nothing to hide. She's not a liar. She will tell you up front the truth. You don't like it, boo-boo? Too bad. This is how it's going to be. This is the real deal. So I like her a lot. As far as Kyle goes, Kyle, I'm glad Kyle went to New York to see um, Yolanda's, she was at that event, Yolanda's uh, Lyme disease thing. She felt so damn bad and so damn guilty. I was so thrilled. I said, see, when she was trying to tell you all this time, I am sick, I am sick, I am sick. But no, you're going to believe Lisa Rinna about Munchausen's disease and all of this. And then when you finally know the truth, now you feel badly, don't you? Who should have been at that event was Lisa, but she didn't go. So now she has to hear about the event through Yolanda. Well, Yolanda didn't go to Dubai with them. Through um, Kyle and Erica. But Erica had been trying to tell Lisa she's not faking. Why would Lisa, why would Yolanda fake this sort of nonsense? Well, because I just don't believe her. One minute she's on um, Snapchat and she's taking all of these pictures, excuse me, and Instagram and all of this. She needs to shut up. Lisa needs to shut up. That's all I have to say. That took care of that. Now, can we talk about um, the O.J. Simpson story? Oh, sweet heavenly Jesus. There was a, there was a scene. It had to be a com com comedic scene. It really was. 
where OJ is calling um, his lawyers, the dream team, and telling them, you need to put me on the stand. And he was telling them, okay, this is how it's going to be. If you put me on the stand, I'm going to say this, this, and the other. And they were listening to him because they had him on speaker. But every time he said something out of turn, Johnny Cochran would say, okay, please hold, hold on. He did that like twice. And the, the second time that he answered, he picked up the phone. OJ said, if you put me on hold one more time, sweet baby dog Jesus, I, when he said that line, I fell on the floor. I was laughing so hard. I said, no, no, he didn't come out with that line. Sweet baby dog Jesus. I, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I said, okay. 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 Because you can't take it seriously. You, you can't take what you're watching seriously. Obviously. You can't. And it was the it, it was the episode where um the jury, the jury was crazy. Some of those jurors were nuts. They were off the beaten path. You know, before you become a juror, you, you have to answer all of these questions truthfully. People were lying. They were talking about, no, I've never committed a crime. And then it would go to, to Judge Ito and he would have their their file of like, well, you got arrested for um, beating your wife. How come you didn't put this on the form? And, and the guy was like, oh, that, yeah. You see, what had happened was, and you know. So that it was it was a it was an interesting episode last night. This OJ trial is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It wasn't so funny in real life when it was happening, but now I mean it's on FX and you got Johnny Cochran acting the fool. You got John Travolta who's playing I forget his name, Shapiro over the top. And I'm like, okay, mm, I'm not taking this too seriously. You have Cuba Gooden Jr. playing OJ. Sweet baby dog Jesus. I fell out. Fell out. Okay, so that's basically it in a nutshell. It is Wednesday. I don't know what's on Wednesday. Do we have Hell's Kitchen? Could be. I'm not sure. Do we have Chicago PD? Chicago um, MD? I don't know. <clears throat> I really, I really don't know. All I know is I'm feeling a hell of a lot better and I want to feel this way throughout. Like, I want to feel like this forever. If I can feel this good forever, I'm good as rain or good as gold. Good as gold is better than good as rain, right? Okay, people, I'm in a good mood. You would think it was Friday, but it's not. I still have two more days to go. But at least I'm feeling so much better. I'm going to listen to my body from now on. I'm going to I'm going to do it this way now. Now it's a whole new set of rules now. Before I said, okay, on the months that don't have days off, I'm going to take a day off. No. I'm going to scratch that now. I am going to work 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 until my my body says you need to take another day off. And at least that'll be 3 or 4 months in. Cuz this is the first sick day I have taken in I don't I can't remember the last sick day I took. Obviously, it was last year sometime, but I don't remember when. So, yeah, I did not feel a slight bit guilty about taking yesterday off. Not in the least. My sick days, right? Okay. So that's just that with that upon that. Now I'm going, and uh, you let me know what you think, because I love, I really do. I love this lip look. I love it so, so much. Oh, so much. I really do. Let me know what you think. Okay? So that's that with that upon that. Mr. Man is on the windowsill over there. Just looking as content as can be. I love this cat so much. You just don't know. You Obviously, you do know. I tell you often enough. But, I mean, when I, I went to sleep yesterday, feeling like a dead dog. And he was right by my side, like, 
don't you worry about a thing, Mom. I got it covered for you. And then I woke up and he was still there. Two and a half hours later, he could have been hungry, whatever. He was not about to wake me up. He was like, mm -mm, I'll keep watch. Don't you worry. I woke up. He was there. Right as rain. <sighs> Love my cat. Oh, he can be a rascal. But I love him to death. Okay, enough of that. All right, so I'm done. I'm done with that. Let me know what you think. Whoever has Madeline, let me know how much you like it, don't like it, whatever the case may be. All I know is it definitely smells like butterscotch. Yep, that's what it is. It's butterscotch. Butterscotch mixed with chocolate or something, but it is definitely a butterscotch-y kind of a scent. All right, I love you. I love my YouTube family. I missed you guys yesterday. I really am sorry, but I'm sure you definitely understand. Okay, so I love you so much, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay, mwah. Bye now.